So how do I access Jenkins? IP address colon port number, right? Uh, meanwhile, what about the other one? Yeah, this one also got broken. Okay, so now I have Jenkins. Now also, uh, what I have, uh, where is the step up? Okay. Uh, again, I have to export that both uh, export files to root paper Okay, so I have a Jenkins server and a JFrag server. So how do I access JFrag? IP address colon to slash UI, right? So how do I see where are, what are the repositories right now I have? So this I have already created some test repository, libs release local and uh, libs snapshot local. 
okay uh, if you wanted to go and create uh, one more uh, uh, you can create here so add repository local repository this is where we wanted to store our artifacts once you build the maven project right so then i'll go ahead and create a local repository okay um, so what i'll okay so this is a demo maven i will give right so i'll see uh, demo maven create local repository okay so i have created one for release another one is for uh, snapshot you can use uh, i mean if you wanted to use only one you can use one but uh, so just to have a release related thing uh, artifacts in uh, release repository and snapshots related things in snapshot okay and now i have uh, this virtual repository what is this virtual repository means so this is something like we have a remote repository and plus local repository where our combined artifacts are stored here and this is see there are two things one is resolver another one is deployer so for example if my maven project needs some uh, dependency libraries right so i'll put something in maven where i need so this particular project is dependent on this uh, jar and this jar i'll be using lot of jar so from where i'll pull those jar so this is the repository from which remote repository from which i will pull so local repository is where whatever i have developed right whatever i generated those things will be stored in the local repository so this is to fetch the remote uh, dependencies this is to store my local jars which i have built okay so this is how you create a repository now we have created repository so we'll go and see what are the artifacts that are present in the repository for example if you look at here artifacts uh, i have created two things right now right one is demo maven do you see anything here right you don't see anything here but if you look at this generic test or libs release local or libs uh, snapshot local we have something right but whereas if you look at here just now whatever i have created demo maven snapshot i don't have anything here okay now so this is set up now my artifact is set up so the rest of the things are at jenkins side okay so i have a repository store i have a repository to resolve but i need to have a project where i can build my project and push those artifacts into this repository so now our work shifts from jen jfrag to jenkins now what we have to do so in order to push any artifacts from jenkins to jfrag we need an interface or we need a plugin so in the beginning of the class i have told you what do you mean by an interface or what do you mean by a plugin so what is a plugin in jenkins or any anywhere so plugin is an interface to interact with the third party software so because this jenkins has to interact with uh, a third party software guys nice. are you there hello
Yeah. Avilash, Mimi, are you there? Yeah, yeah, audible. You are audible, Ali. Okay. I'm surprised. Yes. Yeah. So here we need a plugin for JFrag. Okay. Because if you wanted to interact or integrate Jenkins with any other third party software, you need a plugin of that software. So how do we able to pull the code from GitHub? Because we have a Git plugin in Jenkins. So how can I push the artifacts from Jenkins to JFrag? We need to have a JFrag plugin as well. So how can I install any plugin? So go to the manage Jenkins. Then go to the plugins. Where is the plugin section? Yeah, here is it. Manage plugins. Then in the search available, you need to search for JFrag Artifactory. Okay. Yeah. So this is the plugin that we need to install. Download now and install after this. Okay, now this is downloaded. Now I can restart the Jenkins to make sure this is visible to me. So now I have this. And okay. So can I go ahead and see whether that plugin is installed or not? How can I go to the manage plugins? And now see here in install section. Okay. Yeah, so this plugin is installed, Artifactory plugin. Now what I have to do, I have to configure this for JFrag instance, okay? Yeah, so this is Yeah, so here is the JFrag section available. Earlier you don't see this one because I have installed a JFrag plugin. Now you can see the JFrag section. So here in this, what you have to do, you have to add JFrag platform instance. Instance ID is your choice, okay? I'll give my JFrag, okay? And then JFrag platform URL. What is the JFrag platform URL? This address you need to give, okay? And what is that here? advanced configuration then you need to have a platform url this is where you need to mention artifactory and here you need to mention the distribution is not required we don't have in, uh, we did not install distribution here that is a separate tool but yeah, if distribution is also there, you can give a URL like this, okay? Now credentials, you need default uh, credentials, otherwise it won't uh, connect. And uh, yeah, so can we test the connection? So if that connection tests fast, then you are good to go. And if that test connection fails, you are not good to go. Yeah, you can see here, on JFrag artifact, that means it is able to connect. Okay, this URL is working and JFrag configuration is working fine. Okay, now one more thing left is we need to have a Maven tool as well. I'll go and see, uh, add Maven tool. Okay, name this as Maven tool. Maven tool, right? 
and then install it automatically if that is not there okay and also i can configure uh, credentials for what so in order for uh, jenkins to connect with jfrag it requires jfrag credentials in the programming and that programming i cannot hard code okay so only i can use a uh, encrypted way which is simply use id there so that it can connect and resolve here so what is the username this is admin and this is the password of jfrag okay and i can give some name my jfrag right this is my jfrag i can give id my jfrag credentials or uh, i can give something like jfrag admin so configuration part is done okay now what we need to have we need to have a job right we need to create a job so that job should should be a maven project where it can go and publish the artifacts to the jfrag repository so where do i have so this job will you be developing no so developers will have all that you just need to configure it for example uh, i'll take a github example uh, GitHub, yeah. so this is the project okay so you can go and search for jfrag project examples and, uh, this is the repository maybe you can uh, i'll i'll ping you the Path in the chart history, you can you can just save it. Okay. So this is the part. I'm putting it in the chart history. You can save it for you to practice. Okay. So this is the project that I am already available in the internet. I am taking this project, okay? But in reality, this is what your developers will develop and you take it. I'm copying this project. And then I create job. JFrag, Jenkins JFrag integration. Jenkins underscore JFrag underscore integration is what I'll name it. Okay. Pipeline. But uh, nothing. Just you need to copy the code here. And what you need to edit here, few values you need to edit here. So this Git branch is same. I'm not going to change. So this artifact to server, this is just an ID. You can keep anything like this, but URL I, I need to change. So what should be the URL here? URL should be your artifact URL. Okay, so something like this. What is that? Command C. Yes. What is my URL? My URL should be. Okay, this should be my URL. Credentials, what credentials I have given? JFrag, if you could remember in the Jenkins, I have given the credential says JFrag underscore admin. Okay, so release repo, what is the release repo I have created there? Demo hyphen maven if i am correct okay so this snapshots uh, this one what i have given if i remember demo maven i think snapshot correct 
and here so let's release is the virtual repository name i'll tell you from where i am fetching all these values libs snapshot okay and uh, maven tool is maven tool okay which i have defined right okay so now if you see here right from where i am fetching all those values this is my release repo and this is my demo maven snapshot is my snapshot repo this these are the local repositories when it comes to uh, virtual repositories you see here repositories so this is demo iphone maven demo iphone maven snapshot is my local repositories and the uh, libs iphone release and libs iphone uh, snapshot are my virtual repositories so those are the things that i am copying here okay libs iphone release libs iphone snapshot and demo iphone maven demo iphone maven snapshot these are the values i have copied and maven tool is the tool which i have configured there and uh, jfrag ad underscore admin is the credentials id i configured there and url is this actual url of this jfrag okay done any doubts so far so we have set up everything okay just we need to go and click on build now yeah that's it finished success okay so how many project it has built multi one multi two and multi three and these all are success okay and now you go and verify where you have to verify so this project is successfully completed and it the build is successful and uh, it should publish the artifacts to the jfrag artifact repository so that's where you can pick up this is successful right so how do you verify go look into artifact so i told you earlier there was nothing here in the demo maven or uh, in uh, demo maven snapshot in the memo maven snapshot you can see these are the things which it has just built okay right multi multi one multi two multi three these are the things which are pushed okay now you can see here what is there in multi one and uh, 3.7 snapshot dot jar and uh, 3.7 snapshot dot jar and all these three are published okay yeah so that's it guys we have seen everything from code check into the build and store it in the jfrag artifact any doubts Guys, full of practice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you still have any doubts, uh, let me know during the installation or anything. What I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, arrange a call for you, separate uh, call for you, and uh, we can spend a separate session, not during these classes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 